Alrighty, it is day 13 of Advent of Code. Let's see how this goes. Oh, let me edit my stream info. I keep forgetting to do that every single day. Day 13, yay. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to do Twitch to be perfectly honest. Um, I do have now notifications for my chat, so it will, it will, um, notify me when I have chat messages, which is an improvement and I hopefully won't miss messages now. Um, let's see, um, so yeah, last night was pretty bad, um, really got burned by trying to just use the Dijkstra's implementation that I was halfway through implementing. Um, but, I mean, whatever, it was fine. Um, so today, let me get my stuff ready. Let's see, what is my library at? Yeah, so my library is pretty extensive at this point. Um, a lot of this is, I, I should probably clean up like but, nah, it's fine. Like I have multiple different like, I don't know. I need a I need to rethink about that. Okay, we're almost there. Uh. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. I do stream this live every night at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. At least until it gets hard, and then I might stop. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> okay, day 13. Here we go. Three, two, one, zero, and get the input. That looks horrible. Okay, what do we have to do with this? Let's get this example for one. That's gonna be totally necessary. And what is the output expected? 13. So we're doing some sum of indices, whatever that means. Okay. <laughs> decoded out of order. <laughs> in a reordered list to decode the message. How many pairs of packages are in the right order? For example, packet data consists of lists of integers. Each start list, okay. Oh, shoot. This is where I want eval or like JSON parsing. I'll just JSON parse this. Yeah. Ha ha. Both values are integers. The lower integer should come first. If the low left integer is lower than the right integer, Okay, both values are lists. Compare the first value of each list and the second value. Exactly one, if exactly one is an integer. Integer to a list which contains, okay. Okay. 
right order. What are the indices of the pairs that are already in the right order? What are, what are we talking about for indices? The first pair always has index one, two, Okay, <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Um, Live.group, parse groups. How do I use this thing again? Um, lines and then function. Pair. list of Zero JSON dot decode That looks good. That looks really good. That's not great.
Um, Uh, okay, so R second, second, um, If and second is list, then um, Compare okay, so if both of them are 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 lists, then let's compare for Um, first list I, second list I, if this is true, if not this, return false, otherwise we are good, then we do if I um, less than my second list. If compare, let's just say less than zero is good. Return negative one. Return neg return one for not okay. Zero is neutral. Or okay, let's let's reverse this. Not okay. Okay. If it's greater than zero, then it's okay. No, if it's less than zero, if it's if it's negative. Okay. Um
is greater than zero if if um Oh, um, so if it's both integers, L, L return, if L is less than R, return one. else if l return zero else return negative one out of order okay then uh Perfect. Is float sixty four not int? And it's not ever returning anything greater than zero. always returning a zero. That's not great. One, two, three, Shoot, 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 shooting, shoot face. I am so bad at coding. Okay, it says 15. So this is at least along the right path. Six five one is in the right order, but it's not. Um, oh, if Oh, shoot. <laughs> Everything's in the right order now. That's not what we want. Pair one, 
pair is this um wow nice job joshua impressive i i still have yet to understand how type conversions work or how this problem works i think i'm missing something I have notifications now in my chat, so I won't miss things. Um, so I'm comparing one to one, one to one, one to three to five. Left side is smaller. Inputs are in the right order. Why does it keep going? Where am I calling compare again? <laughs> Yes, just do that. Okay, so is two in the right order? Yes, pair two, one, and then two to four. Two is in the right order. Mixed types convert to four. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Uh, pair three. Nine, eight, six. Nine to eight, compare negative one. Pair four is in the right order. Pair five is in the right order. That's my problem. Okay, so pair five is in the wrong order. Seven, seven, seven. Got here. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ah, horrible, 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 horrible. Okay, um, what do I do now? equals live dot parse uh wait no for line equals empty Continue d dot all dot um, Okay, so then I need to do um, sort dot sort uh, 
I need to like sort with the sort dot slice function, which takes in all Oh, um, I need to add my expected value. 140, where do I put it? Where do I put it? Here. <laughs> okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> um, what's going on? Right, right, that would help. Okay, that, is that in the right order? Yeah, that looks in the right order. Okay, so how do I find the divider? Locate the divider packets, find the decoder key for this. As well as the two divider packets. So I need to add in these two, all both of those for okay now what do I do determine the indices of the two divider keys and multiply them together Okay. For I range, uh, no, I is less than len g dot all I plus plus if d dot all at i equals dot um, any um, outer zero a list inner okay two inner dot sixty four equals two point oh
Do, 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 do. What line? This is really annoying, not gonna lie. 132. Okay, darn. Mm, all right, I need to get rid of some of these comparison prints. Uh, This is going to be really, really, really unfortunate to debug because <laughs> the test case passes. Oh, oh. You, uh. Shoot. Okay, so now I have two things that are wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That. I think that 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 seems right. I need to compare, make sure that the actual length is is correct. Oh my gosh. Okay, at least I I, I think I managed to uh, avoid a total catastrophe there. Um, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. There we go. Let's go. That was pretty horrible. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, Go is not very good at this. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I should have just parsed it into int lists or something recursively, like actually done a real parse, because I just JSON parsed it. Yeah, like everything just had to be any and I had to check the types, which kind of was nice. It forced me to like not screw up types, but let's see. Okay. Let's see how bad the damage was. Okay, not not horrible. I wonder who I'll solving tonight. That's going to be the real question. I need like Jaden to do well now and like Josh. I need all these people to beat the people that are trailing me. <laughs> 
Because right now, yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay, so what's going on here? Basically, the, the thing that went horribly was just that like parsing this is just not, not fun. I, I also had some bugs with like, you know, this, I did it the wrong one, but like, I don't know. I was really lucky though by that I wrote this comparison function. I just screwed this part up, like checking if it was actually one of the the um, um, things, whatever, whatever they're called, beacon divider packets. I wonder if I can use generics. Pattern matching would sure, sure be nice. Okay, so, so let me commit this. Solve. What is happening to my terminal? Whatever. Um, yeah, just barely outside of the top 1000. I, I feel like this wasn't as big of a collapse as normally on part two. This is like an improvement. So the question now is how do I How do I how do I make this less horrible to to implement? Like this stuff was good. This was nice. Everything down here was was pleasant. Besides this. Yeah, this was a catastrophe. Like it would be nice if it if I could do something, oh, oh, okay, I doubt this will work, but I would like to have like, um, type, item, which is like list of, item or int type generics scrolling like how do I make a type type generic multiple interfaces go Golang generics for advanced developers. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, this is what I want. <laughs> hmm. What if I change this to Nile item?
Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, is there a cleaner way of doing this? I feel like there should be, but I don't really know. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know what's going on here. Let's see. I mean, so. Yeah, like casting around any everywhere was really annoying. I, I would like to have something else. Um. Going type variants maybe is what I want. Like this isn't really a this is really a horrible horrible question to use go for. It just doesn't have any features for like com um doing this. I mean, I guess the the thing that I could have done is like declared an entity struct which has either a list or a value like that could have been a that could have been a way of doing it that way then i didn't have to cast all the time but like i don't know seems kind of hard because i then the unmarshal step is annoying i would have liked it to have been int I don't know how to make this cleaner. This is just, I don't think, this is just something that Go is not very good at. <laughs> I think that's just the sad truth. I'm gonna also flip this around. It, it makes more sense to have, have it like this, I think. I mean, I could have done enums on this. It, that that might be the way to do it. It's like less greater equal. Man, I, I don't even know anymore. Ah. Uh. I mean, it was sort of nice. Honestly, I don't know. This seem this is about as elegant as you can get in Go. I am fairly confident of that. I don't really want to change anything. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't know what to change. It was it was sort of annoying that I, I messed this part up. I didn't check that it was actually a list with a single element on, on this part, on either the uh, the inner or the outer list. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, honestly, I, I don't really know. I don't know what else to do, like... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think there's anything other cleanup to do. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, let's see, I wonder if, so the other private leaderboard that I care about is this one. Nope, Adam still hasn't done any more. Uh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Oh, I guess, so I do have a leaderboard. There's a few people on it. If you want to join, the, the link's here. Yeah, let's see. Has, who else is solved at this point? Just Ryan. Wow, interesting. Um... Let's just check that the CI is working. I'm I'm crazy and have an actual CI script that verifies that uh, my solutions are actually passing tests, and they are. I was really pretty happy with the um, the way that you know the this stuff worked. My new test infrastructure with auto submissions. Uh, yeah, that 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 worked out pretty well. Um, not gonna not gonna complain too much about that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't really know what to do because it needs to be either an int or a list, like, and it needs to be recursive that way. So it's I think this may be the best I can do. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Um. We'll be back at this for day 14 tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Go on over to Twitch and follow me there if you want notifications for when I go live. Uh, and with that, I'm going to call it a day.